Uh, dear colleagues, guests, friends, it's priceless to see you all here in, in person. Um, after all, one of the things that war takes from us is certainty. Certainty of whether we will be able to see those we want. When I was on the way here, rescuers in Ukraine had just finished dismantling the rubble of the house destroyed by the, another Russian missile. Almost every morning begins with this, because Atticus usually shoot at night when people are sleeping. And then this terrible news updates every minute. You find out that a mother and daughter, 32 and 60 years old, died together, and uh, the death toll of your neighbors have reached 10. And all this happened only 70 kilometers from the European Union and NATO borders. We are talking about Lviv, our deep rear, where um, forced migrants from all over the country live, where, the, where we evacuate soldiers and civilians for treatment. The other day, the whole country saw a photo from uh, the streets of Lviv on social media. There were three people with prosthesis, one in a wheelchair. It is painful to realize that that people, these people, are also in mortal danger, even in the hospital undergoing rehabilitation. And all of us in Ukraine carry on anxiety with us every day, literally, because all of us in Ukraine have applications on our phones that signal air raid warnings. And even now in Vilnius, I check mine. And I know that many Ukrainians who are staying even outside Ukraine because of the war, they do not turn off their alert signal either to have a common heartbeat with our home country. I know that many Ukrainians watch us or will watch the recording, so I want to address them in our native language. Дорогі друзі, ви найбільша цінність України. Головне для нашої країни – наші люди. Ваша безпека, ваш добробут, ваше відновлення після того, що ви пережили і переживаєте. Не ресурси, багатство чи інфраструктура складають країну. Країна – це ви. Україна боронить зараз не відмітки на карті, не цифри, не статистику. Вона боронить від смерті, від винищення своїх людей. Тому кожен і кожна з вас важливі. І важливе все, що ви робите для перемоги, де би ви не знаходилися. І дуже важливим ваша віра та надія. І Україна, яку ми відбудуємо разом, буде для людей і про людей. Бо ми з вами знаємо ціну життю і взаєморозумінню. Ми вміємо цінувати одне одного і наших друзів. And uh, this place where we now is more than just a Ukrainian center in Lithuania. It is a place of shared values. People who cooperate here, Lithuanians and Ukrainians, do it for the sake of life and humanity. Uh, the Ukrainian uh, center in Lithuania is truly unique. It is not the only one of its kind. However, if someone wants to open it in their country, I will only be happy as all the Ukrainians will. And uh, this center, each of its events, all the opportunities uh, that it provides to people is the result of the cooperation of the First Ladies of various countries, an example of unprecedented joint project. Dear Diana, I remember how more than a year ago I wrote you a letter with a proposal to create such center in Lithuania. I wrote you a letter and um, how quickly you implemented it. It was beyond all the expectations. Thank you. This center is the evidence how fruitful, useful, and effective the cooperation of the First Ladies can be. And my colleagues uh, in this hall also know this from their own experience and from our summit of First Ladies and Gentlemen, and the first such professional community. I designed it as a platform 
for discussions, meetings, and exchange of experiences, but thanks to you, it became something more. During the Russian invasion uh, in Ukraine, uh, we felt that we had not only soft power, but quite strong power. Together we are able to save, help, act, and win. The role of the first ladies and gentlemen of the world is changing. We can do more, and we are doing more. We are the agents of change who the world needs right now. After all, Russian aggression is a challenge not only to Ukraine and not only a mil military one. You yourself see how with it have, have been more crises in the world, economic and migration problems, insecurity, and of course fears and stresses, because no one in any country cannot feel safe uh, when aggressor is nearby. The air alert in the phone, which I mentioned, exhausts and worries not only Ukrainians. It is that Hemingway bell that tolls for everyone. So at the new, the third summit of the First Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, to which I invite all of you in, on September the 6th, we will talk about all those things about the fears and anxieties of the world and how to overcome them. Let's talk about psychological recovery for every country and for every person. After all, mental health has no borders. Each of us, whether the first lady or the forced migrant in his and her place every day, every minute, makes the way the world is becoming a better and safer place for our homeland and people. And together, we will certainly make life win. We all win. Thank you.